we're going to be talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Yes. Stay tuned, y'all. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to our Crown Beauty 2 channel. This is your girl, Brittany Summer. And I'm back with another A Black Girl and Home Marvel. A Black Girl and Home Marvel. And today, we're going to be talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. You know what's crazy? Every time I talk about Ant-Man to somebody, they're like, mm, it's not really my favorite. But I feel like this movie right here put Ant-Man on the map. Um, Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, let's get this party started. Marvel video. If you basically what I like about the movie, what I don't like about the movie, my favorite part of the movie, and of course, and of course, the end credits. So you know, if you watch Marvel movies, you always gotta watch to the end of the credits to see what's gonna be good in the next movie. You feel me? Let's get right into it. Okay, so one of the things I like about um, Ant Man and the Wasp, Quasimania, was Cassie was so, 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 so smart. Like, of course she's gonna be smart because her grandparents are smart, her father's smart. Oh, is her father smart? But yeah, at the end of the day, her whole family is smart. You feel me? Nah, the fact that she was building machines in her garage, you know, in the basement without telling nobody, all the way to get them to the quantum realm was bananas. Like, girl, how smart are you? You belong in uh, Wakanda if you're doing stuff like that. Like, you doing a lot, honey. I love the fact that she was so smart. Okay, so of course it's gonna be spoilers in my Black Girl and her Marvel videos. Okay, so if you haven't seen the movie, which I think you should have by now, go watch it. One of my favorite parts is after they got sucked in the quantum realm, they got sucked in the grandfather, the grandmother, Ant Man's girlfriend, the boss, his girl the daughter all of them get sucked in but they get split up when they get in there right so the grandmother the dad and the daughter is together and then ant man and his daughter is together him and cassie is together so him and cassie basically get caught up in a situation where mad some people come and it's so cute because they're chanting something and they don't understand ant man don't understand and cassie don't understand they're basically saying drink the juice and if you drink the juice, you will understand them. That way they can communicate. So yeah, Ant-Man's scared of shit. And they chant him to drink the juice, but he don't understand. And finally, the daughter's like, Dad, drink the juice, drink the juice. So they force the juice down his throat. It's like little purple glue. Like, it looked like jelly to me, like watered down jelly. And he drank it and then he understood them. And I was like, yay, see, they don't mean no harm. You don't mean no harm. Let's all be friends. I love that. I love that part because it was so cute. Ant Man was so scared because I'm not gonna lie, like the creatures was scary. Like at the end of the day, like what am I looking at? What are you? I'll be scared too. I think anybody else that would get sucked up in the quantum realm would be terrified. So another thing I really really liked about Marvel movies in general is that most of them always connect in a way. Like it builds up a whole story. If you watch the other Disney shows. Like Loki, Kane was in Loki, the show on Disney Plus, right? And in that show, he's he was basically telling Loki, the two Lokis, that, you know, don't kill me. Because if you kill me, I'm the only nice one in this building. Like, I'm the only nice one of me. And if you kill me, the rest of them is pissed. And they're going to come. And they're going to come heavy, bro. And it's mad at them, bro. And he was trying to tell Lokis. He was trying to tell them. But the girl Loki killed him. I'm saying that to say this. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Kang was the good one. Kang was the one that got sucked in the time realm and got pushed back to where Loki was. And that Kang was telling them, don't kill me. Right? That's one part I loved about the movie. Because you could tell Marvel is building up something. And I fucks with it. Period. Let me tell y'all about my favorite part. Let me tell you about my favorite part in this movie. So it's kind of weird. The ants became big. In the quantum realm, they became huge. Like big ass, giant ass, giant ass ants. Them shits were scary as shit and big as fuck. But so smart, intelligent. It's like because they traveled. Oh, the way they got there is the same way Ant-Man and the whole family got there. They got sucked in. Right? And through the path of getting there... It's like they transformed and it got more smarter, got intelligent, like more, more intelligent. Like they became like basically ant scientists, <laughs> right? And became huge. And um, 
I loved it because they end up saving the day. And it was perfect. They look nasty, but like, because you know, a lot of ants together. But um, yeah, they saved the day. I was like, go ants? What the fuck? Go ahead. The big ass shits. They were so fucking big. So that's my favorite part. I'm not gonna lie. That that's my favorite part in the movie. I have two favorite parts. So the second part was the fight between Ant-Man and Kane. When I tell you that fight was epic because Ant-Man was getting his ass thrash, bro. He was getting his ass fucked up. Like you got knocked the fuck out. Fucked up. But it, it, it's like he was not going down. I was like, damn, go ahead. <laughs> he was not falling. He, like, it was an uh, amazing fight. Like, his ass was busted. Like, y'all remember Martin? When he got beat up by that um, boxer and his face was lumpy up? Like, Ant-Man was giving Martin fucked up. It was crazy. But he would not go down. Like, he was not fucking off. He was still throwing hands. And at the end of the day, his whole, his 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 girl came in and, like, helped him out, whatever. But that fight scene was epic. Like, I really feel like he took all the hits. Like, he ate all of them. He was like, I eat those. I eat those. Even though he was getting his ass thrash. He sure was. Okay, so... So... My least favorite part of the movie... My least favorite part of the movie was the grandmother. The grandmother, she blew me the whole time. The whole time she was blowing me. Because one, in the in the beginning of the movie, right? Mind you, she been in that shit for mad long. She been in Quantum World for mad long. Like, decades, bro. Like, her daughter done growing up. Her daughter damn near like 37. Grown, right? So she been there for mad long. She finally come out. And she not telling nobody nothing. She not telling nobody nothing. What happened to her? What she been through? Who she met? What's going on? Like she ain't saying the damn thing. Like, like it didn't. It never happened, right? So when Cassie made the machine and sucked all of them in there, she knew what was up. She knew she was up. Like fuck, I'm back. Like it's a problem, right? So she's acting mad sketchy, still not telling her family what's the deal. Instead of her saying, "Yo, I've been here. I met this guy." He's wilding, like he tried to kill the whole world. Like I had to stop him. Instead of telling, giving them the real, she freaking sugarcoating everything and lying, and not telling them what's up. And it's like they don't have time for this, wasting everybody's time. And then when she finally do tell them what's up, it was too late. I was like, yo, why is she not telling them what's happening? And the crazy thing is, the daughter. Her daughter was asking her, like, she was like, yo, what happened when you was down here? Like, what happened? Let us know because, like, we don't know what's going on here. Like, why are you so scared? What's happening? She's still not saying shit. Still not saying shit until it was too late. Mm -hmm. That was literally, that was the only thing that irked the shit out of me. Because it's like, we don't have time for this. You keep it secrets and all. This is not pretty little liars. We don't need no secrets. What the fuck is going on, bro? Ooh, that irritated me. <laughs> that irritated the shit out of me. The end credits. The motherfucking end credits. The motherfucking end credits. Yo, the end credits on the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Media. The end credits. Boy, 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 boy. When I tell you all the kings from different universes and different timelines gathered up together and was like son we gotta do something like we gotta really come at them now hard and that's why it took me back to loki when the nice cane was telling loki and them like yo don't kill me because if you kill me they're gonna come heavy and they came heavy bro that end credit was crazy it was mad it was like a whole it was like a stadium of canes and they all look different like all different looks and different costumes and shit like that and the three main ones looked mad as hell. And they was ready. They was ready for all the shits. So yeah, that's why I know the next Avengers movie is gonna be everything. Everything. So yes, that was your black girl and her Marvel. Your black girl and her Marvel doing Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead, do that, do that, do that. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace.